What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be going over the actual treasure map rewards for Treasure Map Ace and we're also going to be talking about the new list of trusty characters that you guys should be preparing for for the next treasure map against Treasure Map Sabo. So here we go, I ended up ranking uh, 1186 and you might be wondering why isn't that a little bit higher. The reason for that is, in this specific treasure map, we had access to the secret map. If you guys were over on my streams at any time throughout the uh, the treasure map, you guys would know that we were farming for the secret map for a majority of the time. And by doing that, your rank isn't really that high. But you do get access to a lot of tablets, which we did get a lot of tablets throughout the treasure map. And uh, in this specific ranking, we actually do get a couple more tablets. You get one of each of the ones that were available in this treasure map. One of each of, or not one of each, but a couple of the defense tablets, as well as slot seal, recovery bind duration, and a critical hit tablet as well, which is pretty good. And you got some limit break crystals as well. We got three guaranteed skill up books. I'll always take that. Eight gems and eight socket books. So not too bad considering I didn't really go for ranking. We actually did get some pretty decent rewards overall. Uh, but let's see uh, what we actually got because I actually want to go ahead and grab some of these mails. These ones in particular, the recovery bind duration, because my Doflamingo is one away from being rainbowed. And this is the tablet that I need to get the ability on to max him out. You can see here, he has 5 defense, 4 recovery bind resistance, and maxed out slot bind reduction. So I'm hoping, from this final tablet that we can get, that we can actually go ahead and rainbow our Doflamingo. Now, I have fed, I think, about two or three of these uh, on the last level. Haven't been able to get it. So I'm hoping that we can get this. This would be amazing if we could get a one out of one from these rewards. Rainbow Doflamingo. That would be fantastic. I'm not expecting it, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can get this last ability up on Doflamingo. Can we get it? We got it! Yes! Oh, shit. Let's go. All right. Let's freaking go. Rainbowed Doflamingo V2. Oh my god, there he is. <laughs> oh my god. We actually got it. I'm so hyped. Yo, alright, that, that's awesome. I don't really care about the rest of these, uh, but we're going to pick them up anyway. Holy crap, I, I, I literally just can't believe that that, that happened. We, <laughs> we rainbowed Dofi from that one out of one tablet. That is awesome. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better a better start to to my day because I literally just woke up. The rewards always come out at like three o'clock in the morning or something for me, so I'm glad I was able to wake up and straight away Rainbow Do Flamingo. What a start to my day! We're gonna go ahead and pick up all of these rewards and uh, and then we'll actually check how many limit break crystals and potions that I have right now. I have a decent amount of stuff, so I would like to actually see how much of uh, limit break crystals and stuff that we have. Once we do this, we're gonna go ahead and check the the new list of trusty characters. So I'll see you guys once we're finished. Okay, so we're finished picking up all our rewards here. We've got our eight soccer books. We've got 15 strength he made turtles, which is nuts. We have uh, quite a fair few tablets here. Let's actually favorite this one up because it is a new one for us. Because I think, well, who was I feeding crit to? I don't remember who, who it was, but I, I fed cr uh, critical hit to some character. I don't remember who it was. But uh, we got 39 gold skill books now. And if we have a look at the tablets, like you guys can see how many tablets that we got throughout the whole treasure map. You can see those defense ones. We have quite a lot of them. Slot bind, I ended up feeding a lot of them to Doflamingo. But once I maxed it out, I started uh, hoarding those ones. We have no more of the recovery bind, of course. We've got 24 pinch healing. Pinch healing was also available in the treasure map. And uh, yeah, you can just see from the damage reduction how many tablets that we get. This is a decent amount of tablets, but still, there were people who got a lot more than me. And, you know, shout out to those guys who went ham on that secret map, trying to grind up as much stuff as humanly possible. Uh, but I also wanted to check the actual Limit Break stuff that we have. So, in terms of potions, we're sitting okay at the moment. I actually did a lot of Limit Breaking last night, because the new Limit Breaks for uh, some of the new characters just came out yesterday. So, if I go to Sort by Limit Break, we have some new characters that came out, if I can see them. Inu Arashi got a brand new Limit Break. He actually got some pretty cool stuff. You can see with his abilities, he's got the green damage reduction, he's got critical hit, and he's got Enrage. His Enrage is insane, he gets 300 additional attack when he is enraged. He goes down an additional cooldown, down to 13 turns. His stats are much better. He gets two specific crewmate abilities, boosts cerebral character's HP by 200, and his second ability, boosts based attack 
by 200 when he is the last attacking character. So he can go up to astronomical amounts. He can get an additional 500 attack within rage, and if he's the last to attack on the chain, making him go up to 2400 attack. Uh, which is pretty crazy. I, I can't even like fathom that. That's insane. Crocodile also got his limit break, and he will be getting his 6+, plus. Uh, I think sometime today. I I'm pretty sure it's sometime today, as he can... Or tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow. He gets uh, blue damage reduction, critical hit, and in rage. He is also like Inuadashi, getting a 300 attack in rage boost. His crewmate ability will go ahead and boost the attack of Cerebral by 50, and his other crewmate ability makes Dex Orbs beneficial to Cerebral characters. This is a very good limit break, 100% recommended. He also gets a cooldown reduction as well, and he gets an additional socket spot. So you can see I've already maxed it out here. He gets an additional socket spot, which is so, so good, and his 6 plus coming out tomorrow. Crocodile is going to be set. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and also, there are some other uh, characters on the side that also got their limit breaks, like Wanda, who, in my opinion, is a really good unit to do. She gets some cooldown reduction, very much needed cooldown reduction. She also gets an additional socket spot as well. Two crew made abilities reduces the crew's paralysis duration by one turn, so everyone in your crew reduces paralysis by one turn. And the second one will boost the base stats of Cerebral characters by 40, so she's actually a really good one. She has Enrage. Like, if, if any Cerebral character has Enrage, it's always worth doing, because Cerebral characters want to be at low HP, so you need to be tanking hits. And the last character that I did was also uh, the Rare Recruit Sicilian, who is also worth it, because he has, again, Enrage, which is great. He also has a slot line reduction by five turns, which is pretty useful. Useful. Gets a cooldown reduction as well. His crewmate ability will go ahead and boost the attack by 200 when your HP is low to your whole crew, I believe. Or is it just himself? I think it's just himself. That would make a lot more sense. Uh, it boosts his own attack by 200 when HP is low and also reduces the crew's paralysis duration by one turn. So with Wanda and Sicilian on the crew, you're reducing your whole crew's paralysis by two turns. That's so goddamn good. And with Enrage, he gets 200. With the crewmate, he gets 200. So he can get up to an additional 400 attack. Uh, in, in certain conditions, putting him up to over 2,000 attack, and if you give him Cotton Candy as well, he can go up to 2,200 attack. So yeah, Sicilian can do lots of damage to the opponent, so these brand new limit breaks are really, really good boost to Cerebral teams. Now let's go ahead and check the brand new list of trusty characters for the upcoming treasure map against Sabo. This silhouette was 100% Sabo, there's no doubt in my mind that this is Sabo, this is the exact same artwork. So you can get trusty characters for use in the next treasure map from the quest and rare recruit below. Get ready for the next event by powering up your trusty characters now. So you've got the new Perona and the Mihawk Fortnite, which came out yesterday. We did a whole stream about it. We live streamed the event. And these characters honestly aren't the best. Mihawk can have some uses here or there. Perona isn't really that useful. So you don't really need to worry about them too much. But if you are lacking a lot of the rare recruits in terms of trusty characters, definitely pick these guys up to give you some more point boosters. Now, Next, you've got Neo Clash Sabo, who I think was just out before, so make sure you go ahead and farm him up if you guys hadn't done that, or at least pick up a copy so you can get more point boosts. Next is Neo Clash Bellamy, same sort of thing. He's not really that great, but can be used in certain circumstances. In Treasure Map, he actually could see some use, so definitely pick him up as well. Neo Clash Akainu, very good for pure int teams, and Neo Clash Kuma, again, very good for int teams. So those two units are really, really good. Next, you've got existing characters. So these are characters that are coming out or have come out in terms of units that you can farm for. Make sure you go ahead and farm up all of these characters. Below that is the list of trusty characters, of the characters that are already out right now. And you've got every single trusty or char character on this list now is uh, the, the treasure map unit. So you've got Ace, Luffy, Cavendish, Whitebeard, and Mihawk. All of the previous treasure map units are going to be boosted, which is a very big thumbs up. Next, you've got the extra island. So these are Fortnites that have already come out before. You've got Carrot and Wanda, Nuko, Olia. You've got the Fortnite Treble, Fortnite Monet, and Trafalgar Law. Hannibal, Sai, Koala, Jabra, and Shirahoshi. All of these brand new for old Fortnite units are going to be trusty characters. So a lot of people should have these characters already. Um, in terms of which ones are useful, Wanda's pretty good for paralysis reduction. Nico Olvia does that as well. Treble's pretty meh. Monet's meh. Trafalgar Law's pretty meh. Hannibal's pretty meh. Uh, Sai, I don't remember what he does. Koala is kind of like a mini version of Sabo. Uh, you've got Jabra, I don't remember what he... I think he's a free spirit booster or an orb booster. And Shirahoshi, really good utility unit. Next, you've got Clashes. So you've got Clashes Senor Pink, which was boosted last treasure map as well. So you guys should at least have a copy of him by now. 
Uh, Barto is going to be boosted as well. Raid Bartolomeo, very, very good unit. You also have Heracles. I don't understand why Heracles is boosted. I guess, I guess if they want to kind of push cerebral type teams, then Heracles isn't too bad because he gives you some, uh, some full board orb manipulation. But for the most part, he's not really that great anymore. And then for Sugarfest, this is the, this, this list blew my mind when I saw this. So we've got Lucy boosted again. Rayleigh V2 boosted again. We've got Judge boosted again. Boa Hancock V2 boosted again. V2 Fujitora boosted again. Uh, V2 Doflamingo boosted again. And Frankie, who was also boosted again. Like, every single legend from Lucy's release is boosted plus V2 Boa Hancock. So, yeah, that's awesome. I really like the fact that they are boosting all these legends once again. It makes team building against some of these bosses so much easier. So, I'm really glad about that. Next, you've got the treasure map units, or the treasure map uh, rare recruit units. You've got Zora Buggy, Sakazuki, and Squad, Nico, Robin, and Gladius, Blackbeard, and Thatch. Unfortunately, Urogen VV are not going to be boosted for the next treasure map, and I don't understand why they did that. It would have made a lot more sense just to have them in, even as 1.2 boosters. They didn't need to be high point boosters at all, but for some reason, they're not here, so it's whatever, but at least if you guys have pulled... For these units on other Sugo Fest, they're going to be boosted throughout all the, other, the, all the other treasure maps. So that's a really big thumbs up and why I prefer the global treasure map over Japan. This makes it so much easier when you're versing it, when you have all these characters that you already have ready to go. And they actually have some pretty nice abilities inside the treasure map as well. Moving on for Rare Recruit, you've got the Limited Rare Recruit Jinbei. I don't know why he's boosted. You've got the Limited Rare Recruit Kainu, Limited Rare Recruit Kobe. Uh, that's old school version 1 Nico Robin. Uh, the Rare Recruit Khalifa from the CP9 batch. You've got Flame of the Revolution Nico Robin, which is 3 day 2 year. You have Violet from the Don Quixote Pirates. So that is the, um, I think that's Psy Violet actually. Then you've got Nami, uh, which is the, uh, I think that's Strong World. And then Strong World Robin. You have the, um, the Usopp Batch Perona. Wanda and Cecilian are both boosted. Both have their new limit break, so that's very, very nice. You've got Kiros, which is, I believe, the Strength Kiros. The, the new Violet. The new Rebecca. You've got new Pika, new Sugar, new Treble boosted. So you don't have all of the characters boosted from the previous batches, but you have a vast majority of the uh, of the Fuji Tora and also the Doflamingo batch are going to be boosted, making those teams a lot easier to build for. So this is a really nice list of trusty characters, and we do also know that every single character available in the Robin Sugo Fest will also be trusty characters as well. And I would assume the fact that Six Plus Crocodile is coming out that he will also be a trusty character as well. The trusty, the trusty Sugo Fest will be coming out probably in about a week's time, uh, preparing you for the treasure map. And that's honestly where I would suggest you guys to pull. I wouldn't suggest pulling on this specific Sugo Fest. Reasons why are the fact that, uh, yes, it is an all gold Sugo Fest, which is on, like, it is not too bad, but the fact that on the ninth multi pull, you uh, have a high rate or high chance of pulling either Nico Robin, 6 plus Crocodile, and 6 plus Law, uh, Dog Storm. Corazon, V1 Doflamingo, Buggy, or V2 Luchi. In my personal opinion, this is the worst ninth multi pool that could ever come out, in my personal opinion. I just don't think it's that good. And also, when you look at the list, Robin isn't even boosted. The new legend is not rate boosted on her release, Sugo Fest. And also, when you look at the rare recruits, the rare recruits are the most important part of this Sugo Fest. When you look at this list, look how many different rare recruits are boosted. So that's a four star, this is the five star. Look how many different rare recruits are boosted. This means that the rates for the newer ones are going to be like vastly cut down because there are so many other rate boosted rare recruits in this Sugo Fest. In my personal opinion, I do not recommend pulling on this Sugo Fest. I think it's well worth saving your gem either for the Luffy Ace Sugo Fest, which should be coming at the late of this month, maybe early next month, or pull on the Treasure Map Sugo Fest, which is going to give you a much higher chance, in my personal opinion, to pull some of these new characters of this batch. So hopefully you guys understand that, because I really don't think it's worth it. In terms of things that are worth it, the Zanisha ship is definitely worth it. If you guys don't have the Zanisha ship, 100% worth picking up, because it's the best ship in the game, and it's a cerebral and a powerhouse ship, gives you so many orbs matching, perfect's easier to hit. 1.55 attack with a health boost like this ship is the best ship in the game if you guys have the gems for it definitely pick it up like if you guys are deciding whether to pull on the robin sugo fest or get the zunisha ship get the zunisha ship it's well worth doing 
And also a side note as well, Raid Caesar is also coming out as well, and he honestly isn't an amazing unit, but he 100% is going to be a trusty character for the next treasure map against treasure map Sabo. So if you guys want an all booster for your Driven or your Cerebral teams, he also poisons as well, which is pretty good, and I believe he does AoE damage. So he's a pretty decent unit for some of the maybe uh, maybe some of the earlier maps of treasure maps. So he will help out a lot. So make sure you go ahead and farm him up on the first of July. We will be live streaming this event, I would imagine. So make sure you. Go ahead and check out the stream when it, when this is going to be going live but that's going to be my full breakdown of the treasure map rewards and also what to prepare for for the upcoming treasure map versus Sabo. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.